Welcome back, YouTube. Welcome back. Since uh, we last spoke, I finished the base coats on this guy. <clears throat> uh, the three main color groups are, of course, his green skin and his orange clothes and his white bandages here. I also went over this severed limb in that uh, Caucasian tone I was telling you about. And uh, I also got a spot here on accident. But I'm going to leave it for right now because I feel like it. Um, I never did figure out why he has um, a loincloth and pants both. It doesn't make any sense. Maybe he was wearing overalls and uh, they came apart, now they're just flapping. I don't know. I really don't know. It looks pretty cool, though. Um, but you might think, and I would agree, that he is pretty brightly colored right now for an undead uh, people eater. So what we're going to do is wash him in a combination of black paint and oh, and water, which I've already squeezed out a little bit of the black here. Probably it'll be too much because that's an entire drop. And I want this to be really thin. So I'm just going to take a little bit and I'm dunking into water here and just dropping it on here because I want it to be really thin. Because we're using black paint this time instead of that uh, Citadel wash I usually use. And especially with these cheap paints that I like to use, they're really thick. So you want to thin them out a lot. Wow, and I keep adding water and it keeps not being thin enough. Alright, one more ought to do it. And you see the way I'm dragging it across the palette here to kind of get it away from the main the because uh, this is still a lot darker and this is now a lot lighter it's just a little trick it's probably silly it probably doesn't even work I probably don't know what I'm doing I should just retire yeah and if I can get the focus so I'm just going to uh, Fill in the cracks. See how that works? You just put it on and it pretty much does the work for you. All the details that sort of blended together before start to kind of stand out. We're just going to go over all of them. And he's going to come out of this looking probably really dirty. And that's what we want. And it, it requires a certain amount of faith, I think, because when you put it on initially, it looks really bad. The, uh, the shock of going from how he looks now to how he looks with a coat of, you know, uh, black wash on him kind of, and it can be shocking. And the first time I did this, I really, I thought I ruined it. And you can, I mean, you can still ruin it, but when it dries, it won't look nearly as bad. Especially if, before you do the wash, when you put the base coat down, if you make it a little more kind of bright and flamboyant than you want it to end up, then you can just kind of account for this step in the process. So, he's still shiny, of course, and wet, but you can see, especially in his face and his eyes, the cracks between his fingers are more defined now. Um, he looks dirty and ragged, like you would expect an undead 
sort of zombie to look. Yeah, so that was the next step. Pretty easy. I'm going to let him dry, and then we'll do some dry brushing. And this guy, having more colors and more textures, is going to require a little more detailing than what we've done with the spider and the wolf. If you've been watching these videos in order, if you haven't been, then don't worry about it. We're just going to... We're just going to paint a ghoul. Alrighty, thanks for watching. See you next time.